Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi 4 uh, and it's running Raspbian OS. Uh, next to it is my son's old uh, Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, which is from 2014. I'm just going to plug it in and show you how quick it boots up. So. Now I'm actually using this on a 2.4 amp USB supply. Uh, it's actually a trailing socket I'm using at the moment um, from Amazon. And uh, you can see the o OS boots up really quite quick. Uh, obviously running from a micro SD, this is Raspbian OS. So the, so the power supply is too low for this device. It's not supposed to run on 2.4 amps. You're supposed to have three amps. So instead of, I think 12 watts, you're supposed to have about 15 watts. But I'm not plugging any uh, any accessories into this at all. All I've got is the micro HDMI adapter with an HDMI cable and the USB-C cable which is obviously powering it. But I could have, if I had uh, the full 15 watt power supply, I could have a couple of things plugged into USB, another couple into USB-C. What it, I, I could have more things running. So I'm figuring that maybe it will run all right. But if there's any issues with speed, you could put it down to the OS uh, possibly not being optimized for the Raspberry Pi 4. I don't know how much has changed. Uh, when I installed it, it did do quite a few updates um, and, it's, and it's installed um, Minecraft is on there and, and various other things that weren't on it before. But let's tap a button on my Bluetooth keyboard. I'm using this little tiny Bluetooth keyboard um, just because it's taking no power uh, for, or very, very little power from the board because I'm using it with less power. So let's show you what comes on it. Uh, one thing as well, if you initially connect this to a 4K TV, the OS will run at 4K, which to be honest, it can't, I'm sure it can't cope with. Um, so if I go, this is how you change it. You go to preferences, screen configuration, click on configure, wait for it to, uh, to catch up with whatever it does. I don't know what it does on this bit, but it's obviously waiting for something. Just try and left click it. Yeah, then go to screens, uh, HDMI, a resolution. So it did default to 3840 by 2160, which is pretty much 4K, um, but I've got it on 1920 by 1080. And as you can see on the TV, uh, it looks really nice. Uh, and if I start up a web page, you'll see that it's uh, it starts up reasonably quickly. Um, and, you know, because this is running from a micro SD. Uh, and if I open up a website, say Hot UK Deals, let's go for another tab and go for, what have I got on here that I don't mind putting on Reddit? And let's do another one and let's go BBC. So BBC Home. And if I move up and down with the page up, down buttons on here, Oh, that's not so good. Let's try. Yeah, so if I scroll with the, the touchpad, uh, you can see it moves around all right. Go back to Reddit. I mean, it's not as smooth as my iPad, but this is a, an incredibly cheap little computer, which is very capable, especially I'm really looking forward to emulation on this. Uh, so as you can see, scrolling through Reddit, that works fine. So we've got three tabs. Let's do a search on Hot UK Deals. So let's search for... Raspberry, there you go, Raspberry Pi. It's a good resource, uh, Hot UK Deals. You get some crazy comments on there, but you also get some really constructive ones. Uh, you can see there's a free Raspberry Pi magazine, uh, which would be worth looking at, um, but also you can see various deals. And when there's deals, have a look at the comments and see if there's anything interesting. People might suggest what they're using, uh, what does work, what doesn't work cheap accessories, all sorts of things like that. Just really, really useful. So that's the web browser and that seems to be working fine. And as you can see, if you're used to Windows or used to Mac, you're not really gonna struggle with this OS. Uh, as I, if I haven't mentioned, this is the four gig one, so the, the top of the range one, uh, which cost me 54 pounds. Um, so you have, I don't do programming, but you'll if you do programming, I guess you'll find some of that will be uh, familiar to you so there's no point in me going through it uh, because I really wouldn't know what I'm doing. Uh, Office, uh, so you've got various different Microsoft Office or Google Docs uh, equivalents in there uh, and if I click on that to see how quick it loads. 
Now this hasn't been loaded before. The OS has been rebooted a few times messing about with it, but haven't loaded any uh, LibreOffice before. Uh, now typing's not going to be good because I am on the smallest keyboard in the world. But if I just hammer away at the keys, you'll see that, where's the spacebar? There's the spacebar. And you get suggestions as you would in Word, uh, add to dictionary. Uh, and you can see all the options for fonts and everything like that. But yeah, that seems to, that seems to look all right and seems to work all right. Uh, we won't bother saving that. Uh, now I've got my NAS drive connected to this. So if I hit go, and network, it should find my NAS drive connected. Usually has to spin up first when you do it. While it's doing that in the background, let's, there you go, it's found it, and it'll probably find my NAS drive after a few seconds. Uh, not all devices find it straight away. So image viewer, uh, games, you see it's added Minecraft Pi. I'll probably do another video with Minecraft Pi. Um, just, just because this is a sort of first look at this and the Python games. And if you want to see some of those running, I've got them in my previous video where I'm running on my Mac. Uh, but the Tetris one's pretty good. I haven't really tried many of the others. This all comes pre-installed. So I've used uh, the Raspberry Pi website or the Raspbian website uh, and I'll put a link to it and I'll, I'll show a bit on screen uh, to show how to do it. It's very, very easy. You download the image. Uh, onto uh, onto your computer and then use a piece of software to then write that to the SD card, pop the SD card into the Raspberry Pi, boot it up and then you're up and running. So very, very simple. Uh, it's still not found my NAS drive, but what I'll do is click in there and then I'll press F5 to, oh, well there you go, it's found it now. So if I wanted to uh, hit connect, go to public, My mouse clicking is a bit funny, but this this little keyboard is it's really meant for an Android TV box. But it's I'm only using it because I'm sat in front of the telly, right? So if I've got my work stick here, yeah, it seems to double clap, uh, double tap by pressing the touchpad and then the little button, right? So work memory stick, try that. Yeah, it seems to be the favoured method. So you select it. Uh, with the touchpad and then click with the left stick. So let's do that. So let's click on that. I think it opens in VLC. Oh, it's quiet. I can hear something. So if I just tap on the touchpad or left click and then drag it up. Right, double tap and then I can move it up and down on the touchpad. But I won't play too much of that because I'll get a copyright strike. Uh, so you can see that it, it adds that NAS folder to the desktop. When I reboot though, that disappears and then comes back. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this. Uh, I wanted to do a speed test comparison with the two Raspberry Pis that I've got, so the old 2014 one and the new one. Um, but this d definitely does feel much more usable um, as as a computer, you can see the web browser launches really, really quite reasonably. Uh, and if I click on something like Internet Arcade, uh, it seems to load up at a sensible speed. It's running on Wi-Fi. There you go. And that's scrolling all right. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is going to get more and more optimized as time goes on because it's new. Let's close that down. So I'm going to do more videos on this. As I say, I'm going to do the speed test. Uh, I have a gamepad paired to it, this MTech Gempad, but I don't know if it's going to work properly. If I put it on to uh, mouse, you'll see what happens. So you can see I can move around really quickly with this mouse pointer and I can select things a lot quicker than I can with that touchpad. Uh, it's a much nicer way of doing it and I'm just using the joypad controller and it's pretty slick. Okay, so I'm going to do more videos on this, but I, I, mainly this was about showing that I'm running it on uh, 2.4 amps and it seems to be working okay. Um, but uh, obviously I'm probably only going to know if the performance is better if I try it with, uh, with the proper ampage power adapter, which I don't have at the moment, but I could probably borrow off someone. Uh, a lot of flagship phones 
use these, like um, the Pixel and some of the higher end Samsung phones uh, use a three amp charger. Um, but they're readily available as well. But you've got to be really careful when you buy a three amp charger because uh, you'll see some chargers with more than one socket on them and they might quote the, the total ampage that they can deliver. Uh, and so if it says it's 4.8, it might be two times 2.4 amps, which is good for tablets and smartphones, uh, big smartphones, and maybe two one amp, which is for lower powered devices. So be careful which power adapter you buy. As I say, I'm using the wrong one, um, but it does seem to be working for now. Um, but I, I need to know if, uh, if it makes a difference to supply it with more power, uh, even if I've got nothing plugged into it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.